Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, the obvious disclaimer, I've been off sick. Um, I am still pretty sick, but a lot better than I was. Um, so if I sound a bit funny, you'll just have to bear with me. <laughs> um, I do feel like I'm talking through my nose, and my nose is blocked, and my throat is sore, um, and I keep losing my voice, <laughs> so just bear with me. And if you can hear my dad clearing his throat in the background, ignore that too. Ignore Wednesday, because I'm sure she's not going to cooperate with me. Um, but, so, I, when I made the last video, episode 27, and I had a fever and stuff, and I thought that I was already sick and then on the mend, I was so wrong, you guys, I was so wrong, I've never been so wrong in my life. Um, at that point, I was still in, like, the preliminary sickness, I guess. It was, like, the little baby intro to being as sick as I was gonna get. Like, last week, I couldn't move, I was basically just sleeping for 12 hours a day on the sofa. I've never had a fever for so long continually, and I've never sweated so much and been so cold. Um, I literally couldn't get warm at all that whole week, um, and my ears were blown the whole time. I don't know why, but my ears were proper blown out, so like all the noises. I'm already autistic. <laughs> I already have issue with sound, especially sound, like I have a big issue with sound. So then when I spent a whole week feverish, vaguely delirious, and with my ears completely blown out, I can't believe I'm here this week. <laughs> like, um, anyway, all that to say, um, just be careful when you go out. Um, obviously we caught the big C, not Christmas, that's the other big C this week, but the other big C, the one that gets you demonetized. <laughs> um, and I didn't test positive until over a week after I thought I was sick and getting better. I was still negative that whole time. In the end, I thought maybe I had a really bad migraine, but it wasn't because then I tested positive. And then I was sick for like another full seven or eight days on top of that. So I was ill for like two and a half weeks total. Um, so just bear that in mind because it kind of bamboozled me. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry about the sniffing. It's really not cute, but I, I, I can't, I can't control myself. Um, obviously this is very empty this week, um, I will go back and fill this in and just talk about being sick, basically. I tried to keep up last week, but I was pretty much unconscious the entire time, um, so it's very small, but it's something to work with, I can go back and backfill it. Um, the only thing I did was index cards, I'll talk about it in a second a bit, I'm not sure what to say about it, but I will do a bit of talking, because I'm sure people have questions. Um, this week, a bit better. Um, yesterday it rained all day and it was so, so dark, so I'm catching up on filming today. I'm seeing some friends tomorrow, which is going to be so nice, and then Christmas is creeping up, which is terrifying. So, I'm going to do my best filming this week. <clears throat> I'm not sure how it's going to look or how it's going to sound, <laughs> especially how it's going to sound. Um, I hope I'm not giving you the ick too badly, um, but gonna do this this afternoon I think because this is getting so out of hand if I lose another week it's so many to catch up on um Devoom were kind enough to send me one of their little speakers um and it's amazing when I this is gonna sound really awful but when I first started my YouTube channel um I was watching a lot of illustrators and other small I would you call it like lifestyle blogging like I do um, people who record their days in a similar way. I was watching a lot of people like that, and they all received these little speakers, these little computers, um, and I made it, and I was like, oh, that, oh, like, I was, I started my channel, and I was like, oh, that looks so, like, stimmy, like, that's so cool, um, and I decided that I would keep going until I finally got one of these little guys, like, maybe if I tried hard enough, they would send me one, it was like a thin hope, but they look so stimmy that I was like, I desperately want to work towards that somehow. Like, for some reason, that was my goal. It wasn't hitting a subscriber count milestone. It was, I have to receive that little stimmy computer as a gift. Um, and when they reached out to me, I feel like I blacked out slightly from joy. It was like, I was so excited. I had like, I feel like I blacked out for like 15 seconds. Do you know what I mean? It went straight to my head. Um, and they sent me one. I, I... I can't believe it. Like, I, I know it's really silly, but I really love it. It's so stimmy, and you can put all the graphics on it with an app. It all runs through an app on your phone, and you, there's, like, a whole library. Like, users create, like, the images, the little pixel images, and they upload them, and then you can put them on your little screen. You can play music through it. You can set alarms through it. 
you can have like routines set on it, which I haven't done yet because obviously I do it on paper, but I might look at it. You can like have like a to-do list on it basically. Um, I'm so short of breath, sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> is really cool um it was a gift they're not paying me to say anything they just gave it to me as a gift to review and to post some pictures and stuff of um as always full disclosure on that i never want to be deceiving um i would never have bought it myself because it was it's quite expensive and it's so silly that i didn't feel like i could justify it but now that i have it i might buy my brother one for his birthday <laughs> they're so cool um, if you're neurodivergent and you're like wow that looks cool i promise you it's as cool as it looks like i'm having such a good time um it's i just I, I i was right my gut was right earlier like i'm so glad <laughs> anyway okay i'll move on i'll move on because if you have questions about it um drop them in the comments and i'll answer them as best i can it's so exciting but i'm not a tech reviewer so i, I don't know what i'm talking about index cards <laughs> um i'm using the little bands from the cards as like spaces in the box so they don't fall over so um just ignore those <laughs> um the index cards i'm not sure how to explain them but i'm sure people have questions um it's not complicated nothing ever is like, you have to remember that nothing is complicated because i have no brain cells so all i did was take pretend this is my old book um i took the quotes from my book and I typed them up onto index cards and then I wrote down which commonplace book it was from if it was from one otherwise I just have other quotes in here and then I'm just organizing them in sections so this one is quotes um I have another one that's specifically commonplace and that has like a lot of commonplace cards in um like this oh Cute. um it's really simple and this way i can find them and i can spend time going through them and just be like more aware of the stuff i'm collecting um not all of the commonplace stuff is under commonplace like the one i showed you at the beginning some of them are in quotes instead i'm not being super strict about how i lay them out because i think it's so nice to get them out and just move them around and decide which categories i want them to be in that day um it comes back again to the tactility of everything i do it's why I'm such an analog fan, um, because I like the tactility of, of my, my stuff. Um, it helps it stick better for me in my head. It helps me feel more connected to what I'm doing, um, that kind of thing. So it's super simple. That's all it is. I have some Sherlock Holmes ones, um, like this one. And it's really as simple as that. At the moment, the categories are reminders, quotes, uh, commonplace, Sherlock Holmes, uh, affirmations, and definitions. So that's what I have. I would have more, but I ran out of um, dividers, so I need to order more. The company I buy these from is Foglietto. I don't know if that's how you say it. They're French. Um, this company, Foglietto. They're so nice. I like these because they're quite thick. If you buy cheaper index cards, they're quite thin. Um, and I love the size. They're A7 and I like the rounded corners and stuff. They feel very durable. Um, I think if I carry them around in my pocket, they're not going to get too, too beat up so long as I'm careful. Um, and they come in beautiful colours. <laughs> um, I'm very aesthetically driven. So my index cards are not, they're not super, super expensive, but they are more expensive than cheap index cards, like revision cards. And also, if you're not in France, you have to pay to import them, so the shipping is quite expensive. Um... The archive box is from them as well. It's made for the cards, so it all fits together really neatly. Um, again, you can do this with cheap cards. It doesn't have to be fancy. I just, I like the colours. Um, sorry for the sniffing. And um, the aesthetics are important to me. So stationery is something I will always prioritise paying and saving that bit much more for. Um, if that's not for you, that's fine. You can do the exact same thing very, very cheap. Um, and I tried, but I couldn't find, I actually couldn't find the next cards. Um, so there we go. If you have questions about this, you can ask me, um, but it is super simple. Um, drop them in the comments if you have them. But I'm super happy with it. I This was prompted by someone asking me how I reference my commonplace books afterwards. And I was like, that's a good question because my handwriting is not very legible. Um, so although I look through my old books, I don't always read them because I struggle to read my writing, but I realised if I sit down and just copy the quotes out when the book is finished, 
it was only like two sheets of labels oh i'm printing them on sheets of labels from the printer um they look like this they're just sheets like this of printer labels it's seven in each row so it's 14 um and i think the whole of my first book only took two sheets of labels which is not bad um i already have the labels for my shop and i actually already had all the cards in the box from last year when i tried to do something similar um but i <laughs> ran out of money at the time so i couldn't keep doing it so i already had all of the equipment ready just like waiting for me to do something with it um so i used the opportunity of being really really sick <laughs> to put it together i think my dad probably thought i was losing my mind because i was so feverish and then one day he came down and i was just surrounded by index cards <laughs> if you can imagine i was like red in the face and like sweating and shaking and then just like surrounded by a thousand index cards <laughs> um and then talking about how I had like cracked it. <laughs> I was like really onto something. Um, and I was, but I think it probably looked quite special. Anyway, that's that. Um, super simple, but if you have questions, let me know. Um, apart from that this week, I'm going to try and finish my book. I'm still reading the third book in the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy by Carrie Maniscalco. Maniscalco? I can't remember. Anyway, I haven't finished it because I was so sick, so I'm going to do that this week. Um, other than that, I'm gonna do some last minute Christmas shopping because I did not realise I would be trapped in the house for two weeks. <laughs> um, I need to buy some wrapping paper and cards and stuff. I might try and do that tomorrow with my friends. Um, I'm gonna buy some gingerbread <laughs> and some clementines, um, that kind of cute thing. So hopefully the video shapes up okay. Um, thanks for being so nice to me last week. Obviously I didn't expect you to be mean to me, but thanks for your patience. Um, I'm so sorry about my voice and my nose, <laughs> um, so, so so sorry for giving you all the ick. Um, make sure you're staying safe over the festive period, um, obviously the big C has not gone away as some people think it has, um, and I never want to catch it again, like it was that bad that I just, and I'm used to having chronic conditions, like I have chronic migraines, I was really poorly as a kid, I'm quite used to being unwell if you will, but if I ever catch this again, it'll be too soon. I have never felt so weak, I guess, and like my breathing, because I'm asthmatic. Like I have never been so short of breath, so weak, so fatigued, and I have like chronic fatigue. <laughs> I have never been so fatigued. Didn't know that it could get worse, I guess, because I already exist in a deficit, it just like proper disabled me. Um, and just the not being able to get warm for like two solid weeks was actually like torture. <laughs> Um, I was just carrying a hot water bottle around constantly, I had three pairs of thermal socks on, like, it really does a number on you, so please stay safe, I don't wish this on any of you, um, and look after your loved ones this festive season, um, okay, all of that aside, I really need to go and blow my nose, um, and probably drink some tea for my throat, so I'm gonna catch up on this this afternoon, I think that's what I'm gonna film, um, thank you again to Devoom for making my absolute dreams come true, literally the best Christmas gift. Um, this was a milestone for me and I'm so excited, <laughs> so, um, alright, I will speak to you soon.
Tonight, same time. Great. Wait, same time? You mean dead of night? I can just take the toys now. No, I go with you. There's no need for you to come with me, really. I, it might be against the law for a non-certified uh, postman to ride with me. I, I have to check the rules. Well, great, tonight, then. See you then. Good talk.
<laughs> the end of sort of like every other pew. Very nice. Good Lord. <laughs>